When wireless is fully applied, the Earth will be converted into a huge brain, capable of response in every one of its parts. Now, it's something I've been wanting to talk about here, and what I've been really kind of building up to with a lot of my work is if you've got the Earth network, and essentially not just our components connected to the Earth, but actual like geological structures that are shaped and organized in certain ways, whether natural or artificial, that if the Earth has data communications transfer and energy transmission capabilities, which even energy transmission can be encrypted, such that if you don't have the rolling encryption key, you can't pull power from it. This is so already that kind of just disproves the myth that they kept it from us because they couldn't meter the transmission of it which is not true they can meter it they can encrypt the power transmission can be encrypted through fast frequency hopping and broad broad spectrum transmission techniques exactly what we use for em transmission already so we already have all the computational capabilities to do this we already have a lot of the hardware for being able to do this but now if the earth has communications and energy transmission capabilities what if it had data processing and data storage capabilities what kind of information would be stored or processed? That's what the brain theory that Tesla was talking about really is surmising to. And like, as soon as you kind of think about like the earth being a brain that would, why wouldn't it be conscious then? And possibly far more conscious than anything we can imagine. <laughs> what if it always has been, you know? And that, that makes me wonder, you know, if the Earth is conscious, is the moon also? Because the moon would have its own harmonic resonance and structure based on its shape and geological structure and uh, composition. And if the moon could be also, is what it, are all the rest of the planets too? Also, is the sun conscious on some level thinking compute computing processing across I mean it's a plasma ball so it's already conductive everything we can see in the sky all could be giant brain balls <laughs> just they process we like it just they perceive they can perceive the universe on a level we can't even imagine and now to bring this even to like a more technological or actual scientific level where I'm going with this like how could that be seen or how could they see each of these earth brains or planetary brains just like wi-fi routers can be used to image the inside of a building by the signal it casts out and that reflects back and it can essentially know where everyone is in all times inside the buildings because of the wi-fi uh, signal that's being curtained or blanketed out it, that that can be used to image with the right computers and just like our brains can do that. The the ground dipole antennas that are all over the earth. In fact, even trees are fractal antennas for very low frequency and ultra low frequency electromagnetic waves. And then I also believe that the flexing of the earth, you know, causes those antennas to flex and that oscillation flexing of the antennas can be used to measure the mechanical vibrations being transmitted all in and around the earth so and then all the cosmic rays that are going through the earth ripple those ground dipole cords and essentially i mean if the brain is or the earth is processing it probably has the ability to use that to image just like we can image with our eyes and even using echolocation because there's even the guy daniel kish who's blind and rides bike with clicks with his mouth using echolocation and he teaches people to use this. We have the ability to see with our ears, which makes begs the question, is Plato's cave just completely ass backwards that our eyes blind us from being able to see? And without our eyes, we learn to use our echolocation, which actually is a much, much more broad. It's quite literally our ears are broad spectrum and fast frequency hopping receivers that when we communicate, we are taking an idea and encoding it into a fa into a fast frequency hopping of acoustic signals. And that's what you hear is speech, the, all the ups and downs and the, the chirps that we make with our mouths that gets all these, these ideas get transmitted with through chirps and signals that cast in a broad spectrum through many frequencies. And it's hopping across them all the time. 
And then the ear, having little hairs for every different frequency range, literally is able to pick up all the frequency ranges, every one of them, and, and decipher each one independently, just like a Fourier transform. Now, which, which again, being able to do all the frequencies allows, like, at that level, because our eyes don't, our eyes don't process like that. Our eyes use cones and rods, and our brain puts the image together. But our ears see here have like a, a receiver for every single, not every single, but a bar each frequency range that we we would we use. And so now each of those ground dipole antennas at different lengths, being each size up, could coincidentally do the same thing and. So the Earth easily could see with these ground dipole antennas if it's got the brain and it learns it knows it learns through I don't know, machine learning whatever just process learning over time just through pro, pro, it's got millions of years to develop it you know and the Earth is conscious the planets are conscious and. The sun's conscious, possibly in a ways maybe we don't think that it's conscious, but it it is conscious if it's processing and it's got signals that are just bouncing around inside of it, which leads to what it perceives as consciousness. Again, possibly on a far greater level than anything we can even imagine being so large. <laughs> Does that break the Fermi paradox? We will keep wondering where the f fuck is life out there. We're like, we don't see anything. We don't see anything that's alive because we don't see anything that looks like us. Like, how hubris of us. But we don't see anything. We're like, when we're literally, we could be literally staring at nothing but conscious things. We're sitting here saying, there's no aliens in here. There's no, nothing else conscious out there. We're the only things in the galaxy, in the universe. <sighs> we're the last ones to the table. Sitting here thinking we don't see anything, any other conscious beings out there. Nothing. Where the heck is it? What if it's all it? We're getting nothing but signals from... It's, we're just blinded. Of just not... It's just life everywhere. Just like the... It was literally was the whole point. was There should have been life everywhere by now. What if they've known this? Because this kind of disrupts most of our religious institutions. 